more peg leg. Let me adjust this camera. It's hard to tell exactly where it is until you turn it on because, like I said, in the viewer, the picture's like, I'm way back here. When I turn it back, when I turn it on, I come way up close. So, it gives a different perspective, so I have to adjust. All right, guys. Today's shave. Little story. I set everything up before I get in the shower, okay? I set my brush to soak, I set, I got all my stuff on the counter, everything's ready to go when I get out of the shower. And I plan on using good old Williams mug soap. This has got a little bit of a lemon, lemon scent to it still. Um, but, had my fan on when I was in the shower. I opened the shower curtain up and all I smelled was coffee because I'm using my new Omega bore brush again and that's what I used when I did the HCNC roasted shave. I used the scent drops for roasted. It smells like coffee. So now my brush must have absorbed the scent drops. It smells like coffee. So guess what my Williams mug soap is going to smell like? Want to take a wild guess? Lemon coffee. So I put away, I was going to use Skin Bracer. I put that away. I pulled out the chiseled face, natural, the unscented. And this really doesn't have a scent either. And I pulled out the roasted so we're going to do another coffee scent let me tell you what guys that is a great coffee scent if you could ever get it again if they ever decide to do the scent drops again and today's razor as you could tell by the uh, thumbnail yep good old rolls razor I like this little razor I just gave it a few laps on the strop Yeah, up and back, up and back. Really don't want to do that too much because of that spike that holds the uh, blade in place. So we'll forego that. Also going to do one pass head shave against the green with this. And see how that works. I've done a head shave with it before. It came out pretty good. So, see, normally I just soak my brush in hot water. And I use my little coffee cup warmer to heat up my bowl that I'm going to use to mix the lather, the soap in, to make lather. And I put a little soap in it, get it nice and warm. Well, when I don't, I just put this cup on it with the, warm, with the hot water to keep it hot. So it's kind of sitting in front of the fan. Um, and blowing coffee scent all over the bathroom. Great scent though. So we're going to load the brush on the puck. That sounds like a good bore brush to use a puck soap. Turn the fan away from me just a wee bit. Gathering, we will go. Doesn't have to be the thickest of lathers. Just needs to be slick, right? Rolls razor.
got to make sure the safety, it's just, just the safety bar. Up, it's over the blade, down exposes the blade. I'm going to try something here. Pray for me. Okay. I wasn't getting enough angle on it to cut. texting me at this time of night on a Sunday guys I have to pause here this needs a little attention on the stone it's a little it's a little rough so let me put it on the stone for a little bit and I'll be right back all right I'm back uh, like I never left right to reload the brush I don't think I got it I did 50 laps on the stone and 50 laps on the on the strop, and it still feels like it's dragging, pulling. So we will check that out right now because I just did this little area here that I hadn't done. Yeah, the soap was pretty much dried out too, so. So we're going to try it again. Here we go. It is a little better. I'll give it that much. It's it has sat for a while. It's been a while since I used this razor. I wonder if it's lost its edge. It is better. It's not perfect yet though. It's a lot better, actually.
Perfect? No. More than acceptable? Yes. It does a great job when it's freshly sharpened, let me tell you that much. And that's probably my fault for not doing more than just giving a little stropping before I start it. Probably should have run it over the stone first. Home like shaving. Elm stick. Dose of cold water. A tingle on the cheeks and neck. I mean, uh, seriously, just a slight tingle on the cheeks, a little bit more on the neck, not much at all. Not much of a tingle at all. It's a good shaver. If you've, if you've never used the rolls, I, I can assure you, you, other people have used them too. They're good razors. They're very good shavers. I probably should have just hit it with a stone probably a hundred times before I used it today. it is sad okay that's done we'll do all the witch angel and everything after oh. need to grab some more soap for the old domaruski Guys, I check a lot of different boards online. I'm retired. I get to do stuff all day. I don't have anything really going on in life. So I pretty much, I read a lot. Watch videos, whatever. On, on YouTube, read articles in the news. Go to different boards. There's still 81 million idiots in this country. Trust me.
if not more. It's four years later, there might be actually more. Doing a good job. Thinking about switching my head shapes to just one pass against the green instead of two. And this is the first try of that. Because it is only like three days growth, four days growth. earlier today guys I was I have a couple things in my watch list on eBay and one of them popped up and said hey this items almost yours only 14 minutes left so I went to see what it was selling for because the last time I saw what it was selling for was $32 it's a Barbersol double-edged razor in the box and it says never used on it which there's no close-up pictures of the razor so it's hard to say if it's ever been used or not but it says never used okay anyways so I open it up eighty two dollars I'm like oh this is gonna get interesting I have to watch this. So I was watching a video on my video phone. I have an old phone I just watch videos on. And I had my new phone with the auction opened up. Three and a half minutes to go. Goes up to a hundred bucks. Look, yep, yeah, this is getting interesting. Jump from eighty-two to a hundred. I mean, it might have had other jumps that I just didn't. It didn't register on the phone. It gets down to a minute and twenty seconds left, and it goes to a hundred and two dollars and fifty cents. I was like, oh, that's going to jump to 110. Surprisingly, it did not. It stayed at 10250 and sold for that was $7 shipping, $6.99 shipping. I know they're rare razors. 
and razor prices are not the only thing that have gone nuts. Razor collectors, the new collectors, are getting in on the on the wackiness of razor prices now, and they're driving them up. Now the barbasols are hard to find. I've only ever seen a couple, and that was one of the couple. And the first one I saw was really ragged out. This one looked like it was almost brand new, if not brand new. It looked really good. But like I said, there was no actual close-up pictures of the razor. So it's kind of hard to say. But it looked pretty good. That's good for head shape. That'll work. I can accept that. So... I don't know, $102 though? I realize they're hard to find. And they're rare. That's why I said, the new collectors, I mean, I'm a relatively new collector myself. Only been doing it for a few years, collecting razors for a few years. What, two, three years now? But the ones that are even newer than that are they're the ones that are driving prices up, guys. They're making they're making outrageous bids on stuff now. Nothing on the head. Not even a tingle. Not a nothing. I'm just gonna put a little note in the case here so the next time I open it I know I gotta sharpen it first. That's all I'm going to do with that. I'm not going to sharpen it now because I don't know what it's going to be like by the time I use it again. Which Hazel Dickinson's? Now for the dome. Okay, interesting. Okay. Wow. Right out of my head. Chiseled Face. Could not think of the name. Chiseled Face, natural, it's their unscented. Huh? Five squirts. One, two, three, four drops of roasted. Oh, damn, is that good. Nibia, max hydration. That much. One, Two, three. <sighs> Guys, like I said, I checked was last week. Roasted was not on, on HCNC's website. If it comes back, get roasted if you like coffee scents. That is phenomenal. And you can add it with any unscented. You could take something that's got a very light scent, if any at all, and use it in that. Absolutely fantastic. Excellent, excellent sight. Or scent. Scent, not sight. I'm thinking about websites again. Oh, don't forget Etsy. Sometimes there's good deals on Etsy, too. And don't forget, if you see something you want, but eh, it's a little more than I want to pay, contact the seller. Ask them if they'll take what you're thinking you pay. A lot of times they will. They just A lot of times those guys just want to get rid of stuff. Unless the seller actually knows he's got something. If, you, if you're dealing with somebody and they've got a list of other things that are for sale and they're not shave-related, they're like just antique stuff, they're just an antique broker. They just buy stuff at garage sales and whatnot. 
and they push it out on eBay at a, at a higher price than they paid for it. That that's you can usually get those guys to bite for a little little less than what they're wanting and right around what you want to pay. All right, so don't forget that. Stay away from the uh, the auctions, the bids, as much as you can because that's where you're going to get screwed. That's where the new collectors are going to drive you out of your price range. All right, guys, y'all take care out there. It was a good shave. Rolls Royce is. I'm going to trim that. Rolls Razor is a good shaver. You can still get those for between 20 and 25 on eBay. I saw a few of them there. Just make sure you get the handle and an unbroken stone. Okay? Alright guys, take care out there. Thanks for joining me. Thanks to HCNC for making the roasted excellent coffee set. You guys will like it if you like the scent of coffee. Alright, take care out there. Appreciate you being here. Enough of the babbling back behind the camera. You're in the chair next. Happy shaves out there, guys. Don't get screwed on eBay.